can you say daddy plays video games? Daddy's funny nuggets. Hey guys, the Gamer Dad here, and I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk uh, a bit about the two biggest uh, FPS launches so far this year. We have Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, there are some major fanboys on each side, and, and, and for definitive reasons. And, you know, each game offers its own amazing viewpoint of the first person shooter genre. Okay, now, my, my, I myself, I've been playing Call of Duty since. Call of Duty 2. If, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you will know that my one of my all-time favorite games is Call of Duty 2 and the balance and everything and the, the history that I had with that game. So, uh, you know, but I, I really don't consider myself a Call of Duty fanboy simply because I love playing pretty much any game that I'm blessed to receive. Uh, I was never really a fan of EA shooters until I picked up Battlefield 3 about a year, uh, about less than a year ago. Uh, and app that's apparently when a lot of the bugs were fixed. Now, are there imbalances on each side? Absolutely. Are there things that could be fixed, uh, that, that could be changed and updated or, 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 you know, changed to what people want? Sure. But do you look forward to the purchase of each of these games when they come out don't you look forward to playing the beta or playing these games when they're coming around aren't you watching multiplayer footage aren't you looking at what developers have to say of course you are so let's talk a little bit about these two games that i've had the privilege to play now first off let's talk about battlefield 4 uh and why i really love this game you know, it's optimized for me as a PC gamer. I feel it's optimized. My field of view is gorgeous. The game graphics are amazing. And it just feels so intense all the time. Now, I primarily play the infantry-only maps like Domination or sometimes I'll play Rush, which I know has a few small vehicles in it. But when I do get into a battlefield match, my head, my headphones in and, you know, I got my guy calling out orders or squad leaders calling out flag caps, etc., it's so intense. You're drawn into the Battlefield experience. The game is also designed with limitless loadout options, but they've done a really great job of uniquely funneling people into four different or separate classes to choose from to kind of help cut that uh, confusion down just a little bit uh, with the weaponry and the loadout system. Now, uh, in including that, the fully destructible environment, which wraps me more into the game and I'm shooting at someone hiding behind a concrete barricade and the chips are blowing off as I'm sending an entire magazine downfield there's a or is there a few guys hiding in a building and i grab a rocket and i blow the crap out of a wall just to get to them i mean it's incredible the action's extremely fast paced in the infantry games and you know maps typically go pretty quickly uh and when i play battlefield basically i embody a single man on the field of an online battle working together with other people towards a common objective now those few times that i go into the massive 64 people maps People really know their stuff. They're coordinating, they're covering each other, they're healing each other, they're repairing stuff. It's, it's just a really cool, very unique experience. You know, and, and, and all around, that's why I love playing Battlefield. Now, again, I also love playing Call of Duty. I, I, they're both great games. And for Call of Duty, I feel like in the recent years, it's almost become cool or hipster or whatever to bag on Call of Duty, but think about what this that genre, what Call of Duty has done to the first person shooter uh, genre and everything that they brought. Now, you know, if you really like taking on the persona of a man, a single man in a mission and, and, a, and a single man on the battlefield, but you are, are the man, you got your weapons, you got your perks, you got everything like that, Call of Duty embodies a lone warrior. And, you know, I play a lot of Domination, which is a team quote unquote team game versus another team in an objective now frankly with call of duty it does feel less team and more soul play because that's kind of how people are playing they're out there they're running they're gunning uh you know and, and even though domination call of duty is probably next to search and destroy the most objective based gameplay uh you know i'm typically single capping flags or other people are single capping flags and but this game is about gunplay it's you your guns your perks or however you choose to play the game and you enjoy playing the game i love call of duty for the fast-paced gunplay the quick deaths the, the hit markers the registration and ghost is amazing i love playing the sniper the smg the assault anything you give me i'm going to play anything you tell me i'm going to try that's how much i love this game now you know this game has so many options as well for my character and my squad 
to best represent me and my playstyle and what I want to do. Now, I could sit back and say, Call of Duty sucks because they crapped on us PC guys. Well, yeah, you know, they did not come through on the promises. I don't know how many, if they did, come through on, on any of their promises. But if you just sit and think that, if, if all you do is sit in and say, well, they didn't do this or this game doesn't have this, you're never going to enjoy the game. Now, can you be frustrated and, and, and irritated that things didn't come through? Absolutely. But especially if you bought the game, play the darn game. Have fun. It's a freaking fun game. I love so much playing this game. You know, and it doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, especially us guys on PC, we got to stick together. There's not a whole lot of us. Just, you know, muscle through and play the game. Things will be optimized. You know, I guess one of the one first world problems that I'm having right now is do I play Battlefield? Do I play Call of Duty? Do I play War of the Vikings? Do I play... Magic Guy, do I play this other game? I mean, there's such amazing games out there for so many reasons. And the point that I'm trying to make here, guys, is enjoy the games that you are playing. You will always be able to find something wrong with the game. It's something wrong with some software product. But unless, uh, you know, it's a completely game-breaking thing, like it crashes every single time you start, or your level resets, resets every single time you leave the game, find enjoyment in it. Battlefield has so many things to offer that Call of Duty doesn't, and that's why it's a great game. And Call of Duty has so many things to offer that Call of Duty doesn't, and that's why it's such a great game. They're both great games, and because they're so different from each other. Anyway, hope you guys are having fun with what you're playing. And I guess this is just a small video to encourage you guys to have fun. I am not a fan. I don't consider myself a fanboy in either one. I, I probably play Call of Duty a little bit more than I play Battlefield, only because that's what I'm used to. But I'm getting into Call of Battlefield more and more and more. I get owned in the face in Battlefield, but that game is still a freaking rock star. Solid game. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, uh, you know, in the in the section down below. I mean, even if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Uh, but I just want you guys to be enjoying the games that you're playing because that's what it's all about. Especially if you've already purchased it, the last thing you want to do is is not enjoy it. I mean, the games are meant to be played and enjoyed. So I really hope you're enjoying the games you play. Have a wonderful night as you play. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to check out other videos. Like, subscribe, comment. There's a Facebook and a Twitter link there if you want to go ahead and follow me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Good night, Daddy.